the Golden Miller Novices Chase is next as a grade one over two and a half miles. Always flying at the top for David Hooley. Craskin Avenue, Darren Thompson, Grand Ultimate, Daniel French. 33 to 1, are you sure? Lawstra Dancing, Derek Hinton, Maller Lord, Leon Van Rensburg, Publisher Rustling, David Rawson, Sierra Vista Fair, Vinnie Gerard, Strangers Call, cool, Marty Lidham, Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, Langley Star, Graham Clutterbuck, Radiant Heart, Leon Van Rensburg, Sea Gold, David Hooley, and The Miss, and The Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland. They're already racing and heading towards the first in the rain. And Domes of Panga looks like he's going to lead them into it with The Miss. On his outside as they get to the first of the 16 and they've all got over it okay one or two of them a little bit slow over it but over, over it okay David Hooley's pair at the back early on as they race to the second and Domes of Panga led over that one from the Miss and Lawstra Dancing and right over on the far side in it's Crash Gend Avenue and Strangers Court we have Grand Ultimist down on this near rail Pink of Lordstra Dunson in the centre of the track. And Manor Lord is now the back marker, but it's Domes of Panga, who's five or six lengths clear. Into the third fence. And Strangers Call's gone there, so continues my sorry season. Strangers Call's out. Into the fourth. Okay, with Domes of Panga in the lead. Lost Redancing is second, then the Miss is third, Grand Ultimate is fourth, and then the Witch Queen and Radiant Heart, and Sierra Vista Fair and then Craskend Avenue. Always flying and publisher rustling the great. And then finally the back three of Manor Lord, Seagold and Langley Star as they take the fifth, which they all got over nicely. And this is the sixth. So for over that one, although Manor Lord was untidy at the back. And that one they've just taken will be the last on the next circuit. They swing out their net for a complete circuit of Presbury Park. And it's Domes of Panga who's got the lead. You see we've moved on to the other course today. I'm sure we're supposed to have done, but we have done. And it's Domes of Panga in the lead. No cross fence on this part of the, on this course as they get over this plain one. Oh, water will be coming up next. And they're all safely over it. Domes of Panga in front, Lawstra Dance in second. And the Miss and the Witch Queen with Grand Ultimus between them. As they take the water. Oh, safely over that one with Manor Lord continuing to be the back marker. And Domes of Panga continuing to lead. Leading by about two lengths or so. So the Joshua Sutherland pair, the Miss and the Witch Queen as they take that ditch. Ooh, not all over that one. Grand Ultimist has gone, so it's one of the ones who's got some really good form. One of good four races on the trot earlier in the season. He's fallen, not going to win this one. Langley Star is now the back marker. And it's Domes of Panga. Led all the way so far. The Witch Queen is second. The Mrs. Third Radiant Heart is fourth. And Lawstra Dancing and Craskin down here. Sierra Vista Fair as they take this ditch, which they all got over okay. Langley Star is about five lengths or so. A drift of the rest of them and it's probably a struggle to get involved as they take number 12 and they're all safely over that one although the back marker Langley Star made another mistake racing downhill then now and swinging left-handed to take these two tricky fences on this part of the course the fourth and third last and they get over that one with no problem and they come down to this next one this is the third from home. This can be a tricky one, and it's Domes of Panga from Stable Companion. Crask End Avenue in second. Over it they go, jumping into third is Sierra Vista Fair. Publisher Rust in the grey is absolutely cruising through. Always flying is now living up to his name, and is indeed flying into third as they begin to race towards home. They're going to turn into the straight where they'll take the two final fences in the straight and domes of panga has kicked on again always flying his second publisher rustling his third these are clear of the miss and radiant heart and craskend avenue and sierra vista fair as they come down towards the second last now dams of panga and he's gone straight through that one and that's allowed always flying to take it up and always flying's gone on it's always flying from domes of panga craskend avenue back in third this is the final fence a really good jump by the leader and now though domes of panga is starting to fight back on the inside always flying from domes of panga always flying in the lead Domes of Panga is trying to get back into it, but it's going to be always fine. He's going to hold on, I think. Domes of Panga, one last lunge, but always fine. 
has got him held at all those flying tanks of the golden miller it's going to be close for a second though as the panda radiant out there man lord and the miss and the witch queen and all the way back to langley start david hooley that's his second winner of the week and i think it's his second chase winner as well i think always flying takes it Domes of Panga second, Radiant Heart, Leon Van Rinsburg third, Manor Lord for Leon Van Rinsburg again was fourth, and Darren Thompson who was second with Domes of Panga was also fifth with Kraskin Avenue.